Hey, welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to be showcasing one of the challenges from the Guide Point Security CTF. And we'll be looking at the Julius Challenge for 100 points. So stick around and stay tuned. So we're going to be looking at the Julius challenge. This is one of the encoding challenges for 100 points. And we get this long string of characters and numbers, and it looks like hex. But it says, what is this cipher? So we're going to copy this here and go over to the terminal. And we're going to fire up bpython. This is basically just a Python interpreter, but it lets you tab complete and shows you some extra options. So like if I went import, I can tab complete that. So we're going to say, we're going to create a variable called string and this equals this value here. So we have this string object. If I just type string, this is what we get. And we want to convert this to a byte object. Um, so we're going to say bytes dot from hex and we're going to put string because this is the object that we want to get back from hex and you can see this looks like the flag format but actually it looks like it's out of order uh, perhaps this is a rot 13 or a, a caesar cipher um, that may be a hint based on the name julius or julius caesar so this gives us a bytes object um, noted by the b and we could take this and actually convert it to ascii if we wanted to but for our purposes i don't think we'll need to do that so we're just going to copy this and let's fire up another window. And instead of actually coding something that we can um, convert from ROT13 in Python, that would take quite a bit. Vim is actually pretty cool in that you can just uh, type in, if you're in command mode, uh, this is insert mode, but if you're in command mode, you can just type G question mark question mark and that will actually uh, rot 13 or rotate by 13 characters the text that's in the file. So this here should be our flag. So we're going to go ahead and submit this. Paste it in here. And just like that we got 100 points. Another option is we could actually just go over to CyberChef And if we take our original string of bytes and paste this in here, we could go from hex and we see this here and then we have rot 13. It's a much quicker way of doing it, but why not do it with Python? So that's it for this video. Pretty simple challenge. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment below if you have any comments. Thanks again.